All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect. The title of this lesson is going to be called By Any Means. Okay? And uh, first scripture I'm going to go ahead and get is, uh, is Matthew the 26th chapter. Before I get this uh, scripture, though, um, it is important to understand as a man in this faith that uh, is proclaiming, you know, to be fighting for salvation, that this is, this truth and this thing of ours is the highest esteemed thing that there, that, that we, that, uh, that should be in our lives, right? And so we should be willing to sacrifice everything else because uh, it, it took complete this mission because at the end of the day we understand that there's only so much value um, that a thing can have compared to, to everlasting life you know compared to the kingdom of heaven compared to being able to truly uh, be in one accordance with the most high uh, in fullness right so let's go ahead and get this really quick uh will witness edify Matthew chapter 26 verse 42 and this is Yahweh Shai speaking in the garden of, Geth uh, of Gethsemane <coughs> which uh, we're, we're just now exiting uh, we're, in, we're in the last few days of the first month of, uh, of our calendar year which in the first month uh, the first uh, uh, excuse me on the 14th day of the, of, the, of the first month we hold the Passover which we just had uh, two weeks ago now and uh, after that you know Passover is held for the next seven days is the Feast of Unleavened Bread okay so we're not too far off from uh, as far as the time of the year is concerned from when this uh, when this happened when Yahweh Shai uh, was praying to the Most High this is uh, Matthew 26 and 42 he went away again the second time and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. And Yahweh was praying to the Heavenly Father to allow for another way, if it was according to his will, allow for another way to uh, ultimately fulfill the prophecies. However, this is what was written and this is what was predestined for Yahweh Shai to go through and uh, you know Yahweh Shai accepted that man he accepted that he was going to be betrayed he accepted that he was going to be uh, pretty much really tortured you know the scriptures uh, uh, in Isaiah 53 talks about how his vices was more marred than any man okay and uh and uh, also in Psalms, matter of fact, let me, let me get this in Psalms really quick. Psalms 22. Psalms chapter 22, verse 8. And this is a prophecy, okay, of what the people would say when uh, yeah, we, when when, they, when uh, Yahweh was being crucified. This is Psalm chapter 22, verse 6. And this is why we have to be willing to complete the mission by any means, man. Because we don't have anything else. We don't have anything else to value here. You know? We don't have... that. The, the scriptures say that Israel has not achieved that which it, what it, what it's seeking for. And guess what? Nobody's going to achieve that's what they wish uh, they seek for until the Lord allows it to be given to us, man. Okay? Which is salvation, immortality, dominion. Those things are can only be given uh, to us by the Heavenly Father through His Son, Yahweh Shai. Okay? So we understand that until we've been given these things, that we're oh so vulnerable uh, which requires us to call upon the Lord this is Psalms 22 and 6 
but I am a worm and not a and no man, a reproach of men, and despised of the people. Yahweh said that he uh, laid down his life for the sheep, man. Okay, and he also said in another scripture that he has power to lay it down. Okay, it is it was within his power to to lay down his life, and uh, if it was if it was meant for Yahweh to overthrow the Roman Empire at that time, then that's what that's what would have happened, man. Okay, but it was the will of the Most High for Yahweh to suffer um, for the sins of, of, of Israel, okay, and also for for uh, for his sins when he was in uh, when he was living as Solomon. Now it says that he it says that. Uh, but I am a worm, and no, and no man, a reproach of men. And re to be reproached means you basically are despised. Well, that's the word, next word we use. But yeah, pretty much, to be reproached means you're hated. You know, nobody, you know, give give you your your uh, your credit. You know, you're a castaway, right? It says and despised of the people, and. Did not Yahweh Shai get crucified by his own people? Proving to you there that he was despised of his own people. It says, All they that see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out the lip, they shake the head, saying, He trusted in Yahweh that he would deliver him. Let him deliver him, seeing he delighted in him. And this is what the scoffers say, man. Okay? They said it to Yahweh Shai. And the scriptures say that the servant is not greater than his Lord. You know, I'm, I'm driving right now. I'm not pulling every pre uh, precept that I'm quoting. Okay. But, hey, we have this, we, you know, we have this word within us as well, man. You know, the scriptures say wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, which means that it's going to have to be uh, the foundation of our thought process. Every single decision that we make should be wired according to the foundation of the scriptures. You know, I went I went uh, to see some family, and uh, one of my one of my family members told me that I'm completely changed since, uh, you know, since basically since I came into the truth. But he didn't say it that he didn't say that, you know. But that's pretty much uh, when I started to change, right? You know, from when he knew when when he knew me when we were um, younger, he said, I've completely changed, man. You know, and if, you know, of course it's for the better, but this, 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 this truth causes us to be seemingly unrecognizable by our family members, by those who we came up with and friends. Okay. To the point where they have to either continue to, to want to uh, deal with us or not. Okay, all these things we have to be willing to let go because nothing is more important, even our own lives. Nothing is more important. The scriptures say that he that loses his life, matter of fact, let me get that one. Matthew chapter 10, verse 39. He that findeth his life shall lose it. DMX, Chadwick Boseman, uh, Kobe Bryant. Uh, who else got put to death? Juice World, Pop Smoke. Okay. Uh, what's the the, uh, the nigga Debo from um, from Friday, man? Okay. They're the ones that found their that found their life and received their consolation on this side. Let's go to the web where it findeth in the Greek. Strong's G, 2147. Let's see. Harry. Harisco. Harisco. It says. Meet with searching to find a thing. To fall in with. Let me go down to the uh, 
Scripture index. There's a couple of different ones here. This is Matthew chapter 10. Gotta stay on the road now. All right, Matthew chapter 10 and 39. All right. Uh, okay, here we go. It says, To find for oneself, to acquire, to get or obtain, to procure. Uh, let me see here. Okay, so if you if you acquire your life, if you get and obtain and find your life for yourself, we you know things that you can uh, accomplish to the full uh, capacity on this world, and you go out and you you know go out and, and become famous or whatever your dreams are here. If you find that life for yourself. If you get that life for yourself, if you acquire that life for yourself, you're going to lose it because you're going to value that more than this thing of ours, man. And you're not going to be willing to push this word by any means. You're not going to be willing to sacrifice by any means. So that's why it says you're going to lose it. And it says, and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. So the so the lives that the lives that we have here, which are no lives, a pathetic excuse for an existence. We're cat we're, we're willing to cast these lives aside, man. You know, because we understand and we have faith that there's something greater. We want to transcend this this madness, man. Okay, and so that's why we're willing to addict ourselves to this truth. You know. And it seems like we're crazy, but we'll be crazy for uh, to 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 these people for the sake of pleasing Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Ultimately, we want to be in the good graces of the Lord, okay? Because he, uh, hey, as long as the Lord's still dealing with us, man, we got a shot, you know. And I'm gonna just go ahead and end it off on that. Lord willing. This is edifying. With that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakhakwadash, Davana, to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect. Shalom.